Hi friends, welcome to Cyber Extreme. This is Cryptid Nanomite, and today I am here to show you how to use an artificial intelligence program called Lynx. Lynx is a program which takes our audio commands as input and uh, responds with preset actions. Uh, the link to download this program will be in the description. You can download that. And uh, to begin with the tutorial, just open your browser, go to Mega iPhone Voice iPhone Command dot com or uh, just I the link will be in the description. You can go there or you can search for this Mega Voice Command tool from Google. You will get that. Once you open the web page, once you open the link, you will get these two MK two and MK three versions. At present, MK two version has been tested, like uh, it's in beta phase two, but uh, MK three is yet to be uh, finished. So we are downloading with the MK2 version. Just click on download. So before installing this tool, you need some uh, SQL DB tools and all in your uh, PC. So if you don't have those tools, it will ask for installation, and you can just uh, click on those, and you can install easily. Just click on the Windows if you are installing uh, in Windows OS like 8, 10, 7, anything. If you are using Mac, just select Mac. If you're using Linux, you can just click on this. So I'm using Windows 8.1 now. So I'm clicking on this Windows tab. So now we're in the download section. See there are uh, download beta version 2. If you click on this, you need to pay some around uh, ten dollars. So you can use free download also. So with for this tutorial purpose, I'm using this free download. Just click on this free download. So it will ask for name. Just give your name and uh, email ID. So I will just give my uh, random email ID and random name. So it will give you a link to download it. Just click on this. So now the tools which I said before to install this uh, to support this links. Are here like SQL Server, you need this uh, DB tool and .NET Framework and Windows Installer 4.5 or above. So I think it will be already be installed in your PC, so no need to install it. If you don't have, just click on Install and it will install automatically. Just click on Install and it uh, it is showing the setup exe. Just click on Save. File will be downloaded. Click on that, run the program, install, so it will download some around 30 MB. For first time it will download some tools, so you need to wait like around 5 to 10 minutes to download. If your net is too slow, you should wait around 30 minutes or 20 minutes, it depends upon your net speed. So if you haven't installed this SQL Server and .NET Framework, you need some uh, data to install that and just click on run as the downloading has been finished at 30 MB just click on run see it's been it's been configured now So after this, it will launch the microphone setup wizard. Just uh, if you have the headset mic or uh, desktop microphone or any other thing, you can just select those. I have a headset microphone. Just click on next. Just next again. Peter dictate. Okay, uh, it's muted. I think just cancel it was it's already set up if you haven't set up your microphone you can select there so now it's asking me to select my language so there is only one language preset now English United States select that and proceed so this is the intro
so yeah jarvis is ready now sorry links now uh, it will show you only this thing like uh, only this links main button and menu and all. so if you want to go to options just click on this uh, links or mark that thing just click on this and it will show you like see from this this mark to this mark there is one option just click on this and it will show you two options debug and wcis and again you should move on to this thing and again you will have two options like home mvc and click on this area again and you can move to other area just settings and customize again click on this area highlighted area and you can move on to next option keyboard and profiles click on this area you can move it to other section see like this you can move to other sections but now we need to have the like custom preferences like customizing just click on this area highlighted area so we will be taken into the custom system, command system so here we have this uh, don't click on this databases it will open a web link where you can download some new database and all so you can select shell web and social there are three uh, around four uh, sections here in shell you can have these commands here like open windows explorer if you say that it will open that so you need to preload this if you want to add you can uh, add it i'll show it in next video how to add these commands so open control panel open control panel see like this these are shell commands you can add some more shell commands if you want to next web open google open google see it's opening google now open bing it it will open bing i said it twice so these are the web commands and next social commands social commands it will not execute anything it will just you wish like uh, if say good morning so it will be the response just like casual interaction nothing of importance and by default you will have like this hello uh, what's my name what's your name what time is it what is the date like this like this we have the default um so, uh, default loaded uh, some up commands so like if you want uh, to stop this action and you want to uh, operate manually you can just say stop talking it will stop okay it will stop talking and if you want to open some other folders and all you can use it like open windows explorer open windows explorer see uh, before between two or uh, like between two commands you need to give some space or like uh, time space like one second or two second because it won't understand if you give it simultaneously so that's it for now guys hope you enjoyed my video don't forget to share and subscribe thank you